by us. The whole thing was a trap. Carl used the dictograph to trick us into thinking that Elliot was working on the submarine engine. Elliot told me after I injected the hypnotrain. You disposed of him, of course. No, I didn't. You fool, Jerry. Elliot with hypnotrain in the system might give the police a lead to us. There won't be any Elliot. I conditioned him to arrange for Grand Farrell to meet Mr. M at exactly four o'clock. men controlled by his mysterious power. That flame is eating into a hydrogen tank. When it reaches the gas, this place will be blown to bits. You thought you were setting a trap for Mr. M. Instead, you walked into one of his making. Don't you know you'll be killed with me? Keep away from that hammer. That's better. Now put your hands above your head. We haven't much more time, Elliot. Mr. M wanted you to receive one final message. <laughs> dead. M got to him some way. I can't understand how M or anyone else working for him could get into this plant. Elliot went absolutely crazy. He claimed he was one of M's men, was bragging about the secret power M controls. Then the whole thing's beyond me. Well, it's so far over my head, I'm going to telegraph Washington, see what they can suggest. The situation could have been avoided had we taken Kitchen's invention a little more seriously when he first brought our attention. The idea of an engine that would enable luxury liners to travel 30 knots an hour underwater is too fantastic for belief. Well, if Kittredge hadn't been so secretive in the development of his engine, we'd probably have it in our possession at this moment. No, I doubt that very much. He was killed by the mysterious Mr. M just before he was due into Washington. Even M doesn't know where the parts of the engine are being made. Well, that was definitely proven by what happened at the Elliott plant. Then it seems to me that the important thing is to learn how M gets these people under his control. This injection of hypnotrain won't injure you at all, Archer. You remain perfectly normal in all respects. Maybe. But too many people you've given that stuff to have died. You didn't, Archer. Me? Yes. I experimented with you a long time ago. You suffered no ill effects. I don't remember anything about it. Under the influence of hypnotrain, you remember only what you're told to remember. Nothing else. But if you've given me that chemical once, why do you have to give it to me again? You were conditioned for just one purpose. I want information now about the man who's stolen the name I created. Mysterious Mr. M. I've already told you, you're the only Mr. M I know. This man is aware of the Kittredge submarine engine. He knows that I'm Anthony Waldron, and I'm keeping my grandmother under a hypnotic. And that Marina and Derek Lamont are working with me. It's too much information in the hands of someone that I don't know. I didn't tell him. I've never even seen him. All I know about him is the recordings he left here. Are you sure you don't know how he got them into the house? Honestly, I don't. Go ahead, use the hypnotrine. You'll see I'm telling the truth. Signal light. Someone's calling you from upstairs. we we'll let it rest for the time being. Put guards around the grounds. I want to know the time that anyone enters or leaves. I'll attend to it right away. Why did you signal me, Derek? Whether it be the lawyer and Shirley Clinton, the insurance investigator, or with Grandma Waldron. Brings those two here. And together. I don't know. Marina will tell us, of course, but I thought you'd want a first-hand report. Well, don't even trust your own sister, eh? The way things are now, I don't trust anybody. It's safer that way. Now, listen in. Well, well, we were talking a moment ago about it. I didn't understand that any of my property had burned. It hasn't, but perhaps Miss Clinton can explain it better than I. Well, there was a fire, but the property wasn't yours. 
Well, why should an insurance company pay Grandma for something that isn't hers? Mrs. Walden was named as co-beneficiary in a policy along with the Parker Electric Company. Parker Electric Company? What's that? A small one-man concern. The policy was taken out by a Thomas Langdon. I took for granted he was one of the many people you had assisted financially. I don't seem to recall any Thomas Langdon. Well, in that case, I'll have to delay paying you. It's all right, Mrs. Waldron. The company has to substantiate Parker's claim first through Langdon, that's all. Unfortunately, I can't help you, but of course, I hope you find him now as soon as possible. If that's all, would you please excuse me? Yes. Certainly, Mrs. Waldron. Drop in again, Charlie. I shall, and very soon. I'll be glad to drop you wherever you're going. Oh, thank you, Miss Clinton. Won't you sit down, Grandma? No, thanks, dear. I'm tired. Tell Marina I've gone to my room. I'll do that, Grandma. What is it all about? It sounded to me as though we got another lady to Kittledge's invention. Thanks to the Clinton girl. So that's why I'm inclined to believe that Langdon's real name will turn out to be Kittredge. Here we go again. One jump ahead of us. He'll slip up one of these days. And when he does... Meanwhile, the three of us have to stick together for our own protection. What do we do now? Get that electronic gear. That's the important thing. Contact Donager and Shrek before that Shirley Clinton digs up the same information for the police. Grant, I ran across something I'm sure is going to pay off. Look at this. Fire insurance claim in favor of Jackson Parker and Cornelia Waldron. Taken out by Thomas Langdon. Langdon's dropped out of sight, and Grandma Waldron doesn't know him or Parker. Well, it could be another cover-up move on the part of Dr. Kittredge. That's what I thought. Well, it's certainly worth investigating, unless you've already talked to Parker. The office just learned his address. It's 911 Elm Street. Get him on the phone, Captain. Tell him we're on the way out to his place. Come on, Kirby. Give me the phone number of Jackson Parker, 911 Elm Street. 911, this is the place. Your name's Parker? Yes. I wasn't expecting you so soon. You own the Parker Electric Company? I did, until the factory burned down. We understand you're working on something called the electronic ear. The model is right over here on my desk with the plans. I seem to have misplaced it. I'm not used to this place yet. My blindness makes it difficult for me. Is uh, this what you're looking for? Yes, that's it. You know, it's wonderful how you gentlemen from the police pick up information. The electronic ear was my most carefully guarded secret. We have ways of learning what's going on, Mr. Parker. Any objection to our taking it with us? Not at all. We'd better be going, Shraff. You can't carry the electronic ear that way, gentlemen. The special metal is dangerously radioactive. You must let me put it in this protective box.
There you are, gentlemen. Well, thank you for all your trouble. I hope I've been a help. You have no idea how much help you've been. Of course, my property will be returned when you're through it. Sure, sure, Mr. Parker. We'll return it to you. Shirley Clinton. I wish you'd come first. First? Two other men were here. I thought they were from the police and gave them the model and plans for the electronic ear. Electronic ear? A supersonic device for underwater communication. I developed it for Mr. Langdon. That does it, Grant. Elms beat us to the punch. What did these men look like? I couldn't see them. I'm blind. Oh, we didn't know. Captain Blair told me your names over the phone. So I became suspicious when I heard one called Shrek. And you had to play along. But I told them the ear was dangerous because of its high radioactivity and put it in a protective box. That box is a direction finder. Then we can follow them? Precisely. If you'll step over here to this map. This operates on the radar principle. The direction fiber itself is a small radio sending set. The receiver, coordinated with the map, receives the radio waves and translates them into actual locations here on the map. It's an improvement over the old-fashioned method of triangulation. Well, I'll say it's an improvement. Well, according to this, they're on Main Street heading for the waterfront. This is a shortwave transmitter. If you have a radio in your car, one of you can stay here and relay directions to the others from the chart on the map. Shirley, you stay here with Mr. Parker. We'll call you from the car. Shirley, this is Kirby Walsh calling. Where are you? On Main Street, moving toward the Bay District. They're still heading in that direction. They're at Front Street now. We'll get over there as soon as we can. Did everything go all right? Sure, it was a cinch. Parker thought we were the police. What made him think that? Search me. Hey, handle that carefully. It's radioactive. Um, since there's no radioactive metal in any electronic here. Parker said there was. Parker must have been wise to you all the time. This box contains a direction finder. Parker's blind. He couldn't follow us. Yeah, but the police could. Well, let's get rid of that thing right away. Wait a minute. How long would it take you to drive out through the high tower road? About 20 minutes. What time does your watch say? It's 2.35. That agrees with mine. Take this direction finder with you, and make sure you're off the road by 3 o'clock. I don't get it. At exactly 3 o'clock, things are going to start to happen out there. And when they do, nothing will be able to stop them. Then all we have to do is drive out through the high tower road. That's right. Let me off now. I've got to get to a phone. They're still on the move. Which way now? North on Garfield, heading toward the open country. We'll head for Garfield and go north. 
They turned off Garfield under the high tower road. So were we. Where are you now, Kirby? On the high tower road. High Tower Road at 2.59. Is anyone following us? Can't see anyone. The other car changed direction. Going west on Bolton Highway. Long ways ahead of us, Crank. You better step on it. What's that? Her guess is as good as mine. Look, Grant. Step on it. You can't turn back now. 